a little bit of work, and I, I don't think that's <laughs> true, Carl. No, it is. It was on the program. But I think they can tell, uh, really, what they were meant to be from their chromosomes. I can't they? They can tell whether they're X, Y, Y, or <laughs> yeah, not just. It's not it's very just, well at home. No, I yeah. tell you what, because back then when this was going yeah, on, yeah, no, right, I'm just thinking they might not have had to. The, right. the doctors then thought if you had a kid, right, and you thought it's a bit ugly, maybe it'll have a better life if it was a a fella. If it was a girl and it's a bit ugly and you think it's gonna get our time. Right. Don't talk shite. What, what? What, <laughs> that a doctor would go, <laughs> right, you've had, you've had a, you've had a young girl, I'll tell you what, she's a pig, let's pop a cock on her. <laughs> Don't no, no, talk no, I'm not saying, shite. I'm not, I'm not saying that. What <gasps> I'm saying is, say if you have a, uh, like I say, a girl. I, I just think it's harder if a girl's ugly and yeah. she's growing up. Yeah. She has a harder time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you agree with that? Possibly, but you don't change their gender. No, yeah. You don't change their gender no, no, because no, no, they're I'm a bit of a What I'm saying is the elephant man would have had a harder time if it was elephant woman. <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> but listen to me, listen, listen. What the doctor was saying is, if you get a baby before it's two, yeah. back then they thought you could sort of say, well, give it, instead of giving it a go-kart, give it dolls to play with. Right, back when? What are we talking about? The Middle Ages? We put a song on, come back to this. Yeah, it's oh. Bruce Springsteen, Atlantic City, on XFM 104.9. Okay, look, have another go, Carl. What were you saying? As a, an hermaphrodite, yeah. It was born both sets. The doctor said he's not well hung. Let's lose that. Let's get rid of that. Let's make, make it, it into a girl. Okay. I'm with you so far. Go on then. So, anyway. Gets away with it a little bit in the, in the early years. <laughs> right. right. Starts going to school. Ooh. Gets away with it a little bit. Sure. Right. But then, do you know when you get to that age and your head goes all funny? Like when you when you're a teenager and you you sort of you I don't know your school goes. Mine never did. What are you talking about? No. Like What's wrong your head goes teenage all funny. years when you look a bit odd. Do you know what I mean? You go from being quite a good looking person and then you, your body starts growing at a different rate. So yeah, you, don't, so you never know where, you never know till twenty one whether you're going to be a looker or not or whether yeah, it's just yeah yeah I know right. go on yeah I'm still waiting. So uh... your head grew outwards at exactly the same rate, didn't it? That's why it's spherical. your head grew faster than your hair. <laughs> 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 He's got a lovely head of hair, exactly. but just, just below the skull. Yeah. He's got a little afro in there, yeah. but it just couldn't get through the follicles. It couldn't catch up the skull. <laughs> Expanding. Oh, bless him. Oh, come on, come on, Baldy. But the thing is, right, so you see these pictures of the lad stroke woman. Yeah. Who's trying to be a woman at the age of 14, 15. Sure. Yeah. She's got one of them big heads. Right. Like right, okay. a lad. Um, <sighs> doesn't, you know, she starts having a hard time. She doesn't want to play with the mates, with the dolls and all that. She's more into go-karting and that sort of sure. thing. Yeah. Um, gets to an older age. Yep. Decides to go back. Is now sort of with a woman and having a life of a fella. But did he put, have it, put, did the doctor keep it for him in case he needed it? No, he's had, he's had one put on though. Has he? Where'd he get that from? Don't know. Don't know, maybe that bondage shop. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do when they do that? Do they put on a, what do they do? Maybe someone could call in and tell us. If you're a woman, <laughs> and you have a... Do you want to speak to someone who's got that information? Yeah, I do want to know. What, do, do if they you've got that information, I don't want to talk to them. Do they construct one? Do they construct it? From plasticine. Or do they whack on a dead one? One? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? That's not, it's not, what do you mean? No. When a, when a woman has a knob put on, yeah. to have a sex change, where do they get it from? That, is it constructed? Do they find like, I don't from know. From a donor. A, a donut? <laughs> from a donor. Oh, well, yeah. A donor? A what? donor, yeah. Yeah, but... Presumably, it's like maybe a, there's someone well, who wants to become. Dead, I mean, no, I was thinking it's not like giving someone a kidney and then sort well, of like celebrating maybe with them. Maybe if you're a guy and you want to become a woman, you've that's got true. one to spare. That's true. Yeah. Well, a swap. Yeah, just yeah. do a little swap probably on the internet or something. Or oh, no lemons. <laughs> what do you mean? What, on what, swap shop. He's not a man. No, no, but he could go. Uh, we've got a, a, lo a fella here who uh, <laughs> got a lovely, uh, nearly new, uh, unused piece. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wants, yeah, Keith Chegri, like that kind of Bogner Regis. Wants a couple of tits and a fanny for that, so, uh, <laughs> call in. <laughs> uh, it reminds me of the, um, do you remember the Jane, the John Wayne Bobbitt story? Which yeah. Which always seemed odd to me. I never really kind of got all the information. Do you remember that one, Carl, where the woman cut off mm. her husband's penis because he, he was sleeping? Or he, I think she mean, and she ran, she drove off. 
I think you woke up quite quickly. She yeah, she <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, that's, that's, that's so much better than the, the alarm clock, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And she threw it off. She threw, she threw it out, out of the, the window. car into the woods yeah. and he went and found it. Yeah. But imagine if he'd got to the hospital and sewn it, they'd sewn it back on and he'd gone, that's bigger than I remember. <laughs> that's, I'm that's not sure this mine. is mine. How many of you got us where we dump all the knobs? <laughs> we dump all the knobs there. Yeah. That, oh, that, that oh. was an extraordinary story. And then, bizarrely, he became a porn star. Yeah. Yeah. Very strange life that man's had. Well, it is a bit of a shock to the system, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, cutting your knob off. I know. I know. Do, do you remember that, um, French bloke, the performance artist of the, uh, 1910? Do you remember him? No, uh, no. He, uh, as a performance art, he cut his, he had a, in a theatre, he cut his knob off to a crowd of people. Now, what? That's, yeah. That's only a one night trick though, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. But what if there'd been a bang <laughs> outside? They went encore. He went, oh! Yeah. Or they looked outside because <laughs> a, a car backfired. <laughs> yeah. Went, Do you see that? I go, ah, I go, ah, oh, <laughs> just cut the, did ya? Yeah. yeah. Think of that. Sacre bleu. I know. French are funny, aren't they? Cutting your knob off for, for your art. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Long view. Further on XFM 104.9. As we're having so much fun with penises, yeah. I thought perhaps I should just uh, mention. That's a, that's a slogan. <laughs> we should uh, just mention this story briefly. It's in the paper today. A Russian is selling what he claims is Hitler's mummified penis for twelve thousand pounds. Yeah. Uh, Ivan Zadurprov says his ex Red Army soldier dad hacked it off as a souvenir after storming the tyrant's Berlin bunker after his suicide in 1945. Yeah. Mm. Not. Why, why, did, why did he wait till now? To yeah. He's found out that, uh, yeah, it, that might, that might get a bit of like twelve thousand pounds. Twelve thousand pounds. It doesn't yeah. seem a great deal. Doesn't seem a great deal of money, really. Well, it's useless, isn't it? <laughs> True. You're not gonna be able to use it. It's not yeah. gonna be able to, it's not gonna be a donor. Imagine that, if you walk round. <laughs> yeah. You'll never, be you're making love to a girl. You'll never <laughs> believe who this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you never believe who's doing you yeah, love. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is gonna freak you out. <laughs> <laughs> this is, yeah, just relax. Exactly. Okay, sit down now. Was that right? a It you. was brilliant, it was brilliant, yeah, so you enjoyed it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, are Did you, you a fan <laughs> of the Third Reich? <laughs> exactly. Well, no, awful racist. Okay, okay, let's go a different tack. <laughs> yeah. Um, you did like the sex. I love the sex. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be Hitler's knob, is it? But, um, I like the idea that, I mean, you're, you're, a uh, ex-Red, you're in the Red Army. Yeah. You've just stormed Berlin. Yeah. 1945, you crash into you've the bunker. Through, you've gone through terrible, Hell, terrible, terrible, how you've lost 20 million comrades. Unbelievable. Been, oh, a, oppression it's everywhere. been going on for years. You're in there, you see the man. The stormy, the, yeah, here he is, he's dead. He's dead, he's, oh. The figurehead and leader of one of the most despicable, he, you know. You turn to your friends, there's a tear in your eye. Yeah. And your immediate thought <laughs> is, I ought to chop off his todger. Yeah. 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 Well, no, I said Bagsy. I, I said Bagsy, Bagsy is Winkle. I said Bagsy is Winkle outside. <laughs> Whoever it was. Yeah, I didn't know it was gonna be Hitler. Brilliant. It's just, I, I can't, it just doesn't make sense. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. And I don't know how, how is he expecting to prove this? Because I want some proof. Well, this, I think that's why he said that. Uh, um, he probably started off with, uh, Oh, I've got Hitler's face. <laughs> and they went, brilliant. Oh, let's have a look at it. What do you mean, let's have a look? Well, just check Hitler's face. So obviously, I know what he looks like. Oh, yeah. No, it's not, ah, oh, yeah, you know what he, no, it's not his face. What, what, what wouldn't you know what it looked like? Well, I mean, no one's ever seen his genitals. That's what I've got. Yeah. I've got his, I've got his... It's got no. a little swastika on it. Is that, uh, is that proof, is it? Yeah, a little Have you got his ball? Well, no, the Albert Hall's got one, his mother's got the other, so I don't know. See, the Albert Hall, I would have thought, would probably be paying that 12,000 pounds, because apparently they've, they've already got his ball. Yeah, they've got one of his balls. they got so one of his balls yeah, in the Albert Hall, need... his mother's got the other. Yeah. But if they got the, the Todd's If they wrong, can track down the one his mother's got, they would have a complete set of Hitler's... I'm just hoping it doesn't fall into the hands of some kind of crazed genetic scientist. What, I could clone it from his mouth? I could clone a Hitler. Back to, oh, I, I don't even want to think about the future if that's the sort of way we're going. <laughs> exactly. If that's the sort of way we're going, Carl, <laughs> I'd rather not know about it. <laughs> what Carl, do you make of it, Carl? Weird, isn't it? It is weird. I mean, I don't want to go on for this too long. We've probably got about a minute left for the first half hour, and I reckon should can this sort of. What, 30 minutes of genital talk? Go on, just, just quickly. On a Saturday there's afternoon? there's go on. one in a museum. I think it's like that London Museum. What? One what? Well, do you know like how people are buying weird stuff and that to put in museums? Yeah. There's this device that, <laughs> but, I mean, think about it, years and years ago they used to torture people, didn't they? Yeah. Really badly. Mm. And the device yeah, that they've got- Yeah, there's no real good torture, but go on, I see your point. Yeah, but this, this device, right, think about it, you've done something really bad years ago. Yeah. Right, and you're thinking, oh, what are they gonna do? Do you know what I mean? Could they do anything here, this could be the end for me. The device they've got, 
is this thing that you put on your, uh, your bits, as a fella, uh, uh, and it's sort of metal, uh, so it means you can't, sort of, you know, get excited. <laughs> it puts a stop to you, sort of. That wasn't a torture device. I think it was a Victorian thing to stop, um, adolescent boys wanking. They used to have things like wrist things as well with, like, spikes on them. It's not a torture device. Is it not? Well, not really. It's, imagine that being captured by no, a right, you're never getting hard on again. All right. It, not really a torture device, is it? And well, there wasn't that many nice looking women wandering about anyway about them, was there? They didn't, <laughs> didn't get excited about stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, they filthy, they stunk and everything back then. <laughs> I'm playing what are you all about? All right, we've covered that. <laughs> no more of that talk now, <laughs> right? Let's uh, move on. Stinky. Yeah. Oh, dear. Bit of Rolling Stones yeah, and set up the old songs of phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Stones, Beast of Burden. We've not played it before. It's an absolute jam. The Rolling Stones, Beast of Burden. Can I just take this opportunity, Rick, to uh, to say to um, Sir Mick Jagger, yeah. happy 60th birthday this year, uh, Mick. Happy Indeed. 60th birthday this year. Yeah. Was it today? I don't know. I don't know. Well, Something otherwise you'd be saying happy birthday to everyone every day. Every no, no, year. no, 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 because I don't know Mick Jagger, do I? So I'm just taking the opportunity in case he happens to be listening today to wish him a 60th. Happy 60th. Or someone who knows him might what be listening What about Brian Ferry? What about Brian Ferry? How's Brian? Bri well, well, I mean, he's, he's, not, he's, 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 he's got really a birthday fan of this Brian year. Ferry. I'm not going to wish Brian Ferry a birthday. Oh, happy he's birthday, really Brian. Well. Silence is easy. Star Sailor on XFM 104.9. Right, it's the, uh, it's the quiz of the week. If you want to go out and do some shopping, <laughs> this is probably a good time. We can come back again for about quarter past. But two. don't forget, uh, w what I will say is even though these clues, uh, we're gonna do songs of phrase, by the way, where, uh, Carl picks out a phrase that he might have said once, mm. uh, <laughs> tries to find words from songs to put it together, you've got to guess as many as you can, song or artist, I can't remember. Um, but, even though you might look at it and go, that's mental, I don't know any of them, you might win if you get two, right? I mean, I think the winner last week got about three out of three. Well, or I have seven. to be honest with you, I mean, last week, I mean, Rockbusters, surprisingly, was a very, very popular quiz. Yeah. It just happened to be awful. Yeah. This one is pitiful. I mean, it's truly atrocious. Yeah. And it really doesn't even have a fan base. I mean, there's no one championing this one, Carl. Last week, seriously, mate, I got a bank. Oh, Carl's seven, face. Seven or eight uh, replies. That, is, that, oh, God, that's terrible. That was like when you told a kid that you couldn't afford a Christmas present this year. Look at his face. Yeah, it is a bit distraught. Carl, I suppose it's, it's like Chris Evans' face when they said they were cancelling girls and boys. <laughs> it's like, well, I can, I can come up with great TV game shows <laughs> like that. No, you can't, Chris. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, his little glasses slid down his yeah. nose. I'm the guy who don't forget your toothbrush. Yeah. What was that money you owe me? No, you owe us. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> believe it. All right. So, will I just play it to you and whatever, you, you Carl? Try and work out what the phrase is. Um, so it's a phrase that might have once been uttered on this show. It was said last week. Oh right. All right. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Here we go. I know you're just sixteen. But look at all of 21. <laughs> right, I right, can't hear right. it. Right, I know what that is. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what was right? it? What it is, is it's something like, right, <laughs> you're only 16, but you look 26, and the Chinese look older than they are or something, because he said that the Chinese. It's the age route. That is mental, Carl. <laughs> it's the most convoluted, ridiculous, racist <laughs> piece of material ever to be uttered on radio. Play it again. <laughs> I know you're just 16, but look at all of 21. That's... And look at all the 21. That's because the Chinese look older. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you've got mental. All right. Oh, that is amazing. So, there you go. The well known phrase <laughs> you're, you're 16, look at all of 21. That's because the Chinese look older. Well known phrase there, sweeping the nation. <laughs> that's uh, That'll be up there with was up. Um, and shut that door. <laughs> if they do a poll. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, flat words. Well, we're, we're after the artists. Just yeah. the artists. Yeah. yeah. I know you're just 16, but looking all of 21. That's. Alright, let me tell you what the uh, prizes oh. are. We've got, uh, I assume this is the new <laughs> album from Mower. Um, everyone's going crazy from Mower. <laughs> I've not heard people stop talking about Mower. <laughs> but, uh, there it is. We've got the new album from the Webb Brothers, um, which might be quite good. Uh, the Polyphonic Spree album. The best dance album in the world ever, which is ideal perhaps if you're having a barbecue and you've got lots of eight-year-old children <laughs> coming. The Polyphonic Spree, I look at them and I think, well, you know, you're a pretty good band. But, um, if that album sounds like a million, you're gonna make that 40 quid each. I know, it's extraordinary. Well, it's, I mean... They're the sort of indie equivalent of the So Solid crew. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna make any money. The manager's getting That's 20%. Exactly, yeah. And, um, and also on DVD, uh, Red Dwarf Series 1. So, um, some absolutely barnstorming places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you can identify what artists are using this well-known racist phrase, <laughs> that's because the Chinese look older. <laughs> Play it once more, Carl. One more time. I know you're just 16, but looking all of 21. That's... Oh, Ricky God. Dot Gervais this at is SFM dot co dot UK. Player record, this is Radio Panic 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 Radio Panic the Smiths on XFM 104.9. Well, we've got the we've done the first half hour, which is now mainly genital related. <laughs> then we've kicked in with uh some racism. <laughs> uh, you have to well, guess what artist. It seems appropriate uh, at this juncture just to mention something that's in the paper today. Uh, Dominic Mohan, I know you're a big fan, and as yeah. am I. He uh, is just writing about the demise of Radio One, or as he as he perceives it, and talking about the Radio One breakfast show, and apparently it's lost lots of listeners. And he says, uh, talking of the BBC, it must act swiftly to replace Sarah Cox and look to exciting and inspirational figures like Jonathan Ross, Anne and Deck, Johnny Vaughan, or Ricky Gervais to try and save Radio One. He's right. I mean. He's right. Has he ever heard this show? <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? <laughs> All those other acts, they're dynamite. I can't genuinely, I- <laughs> That's someone who said I quite like Ricky Gervais, <laughs> but he's never- he can't have listened. I mean, uh. can you imagine what we just played? <laughs> in fact, can you imagine the last 50 minutes on Radio 1, on The Breakfast Show? <laughs> Well, we could yeah, we could pre-record it though, so I wouldn't have to get up early. <laughs> sure. That's not your point, is it? <laughs> That's not really no, it. No, your point is the quality of what we're doing, <laughs> exactly. not well, how early it is. Sure, sure. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Whack, whack, oops. <laughs> I can do all that. Because uh, I'm obviously our, um, our time at uh, XFM is gonna basically- we're I'd be- empty, I'd be the furry shreddy. Right. Yeah, so, so I'd get that. Uh, would you have some wacky catchphrases? I think I would. You'd bring back Holy Fook, presumably. Holy Fook, yeah. Oh, ding dong. <laughs> oh, hello. It's my little Chinese neighbour. Hello. What's your name? My name is Holy Fuck. Oh, Hello. <laughs> Look at Carl. He's just going on. Oh, I thought like you didn't even do the Chinese <laughs> accent that time. Well, that'd be racist. Okay, <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah, sure. it's just his name's Holy Fuck, and there's nothing. Nothing wrong, wrong or funny about that. So yeah, you'd have that. You'd have, you'd you'd have crazy that. comedy characters. You probably have some wacky quizzes. Yeah. Oh. Oh look, it's dirty old queer. I <laughs> know. Oh, <no. laughs> now I've not. He's a new character to me. I'm quite excited. He sounds. <laughs> Very modern and contemporary. <laughs> yeah. A new spin. Yeah. On, uh, yeah. on an old idea. Yeah. Um, just tell us a little bit more. Oh, wow, well, um, mm, he's an actor, isn't he? And right. he, uh, and he likes to, uh, <laughs> take it up. Oh, right, well, that's just, um, if anyone from Radio 1 is listening, and yeah. they've, uh, they've listened to Dominic Mohan in the paper, they thought, yes, you're right, we need some new blood at Radio 1. Ricky Gervais, he's got a myriad of comedy characters. Yeah. Whack, whack, oops. I can do <laughs> sound effects. <laughs> you can do sound effects. So. You could probably do funny voices like Chris Moyles, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Not as good, but I, I mean, I can- What I'm, about I'm, comedy songs like Moyles? Again, not as good, but I mean- Do you I, remember it, when Moyles rather hilariously <laughs> changed the words of This Is My Moment by Martin McCutcheon to This Is My Motor? <laughs> we listened to it oh, though, didn't we? unbelievable. <laughs> I remember when he was doing a competition, this was pathetic, wasn't it? We were listening to, uh, uh Radio 1 once on our house, right? And, uh, I don't know why, we just wanted to, uh, I think it was research, wasn't it, for the office? Yeah. And, um, he was doing this, uh, he had to phone in with, We were um, listening to idiots and- <laughs> No, no, no I'm not saying that. Um, and he was doing this competition, you had to call in with, um, some, uh, songs that are golf-related. 
and people were phoning up going, uh, uh, drive the cars, he was going, drive the cars, good. And I was on that phone, I must have wasted about forty quid, and I wanted to get through and go, hello Chris, it's not Milesy, Milesy, yeah. It's Derek here, Derek here, I've got one, got one. Oh, go on then Derek, what is it? Um, something like Spandau Ballet with golfy, golfy, golf cart <laughs> and that. And I just wanted to do that, and I waited, and just, uh, 